Welcome everyone to a first look at Diplomacy is not an option. This game is very much like They Are Billions. You can probably consider it a mix of Stronghold and They Are Billions because it's in the like peasant medieval times. So you have peasant uprisings instead of zombies. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty interesting game and one thing I want to point out is that there's a, a lot of humor laced throughout which I find very enjoyable. For example in the game options you have Diplomacy, but it is not an option. I mean, technically it is an option, but <laughs> it's off, or it's no. <laughs> it's just little comical things. I think they add a nice light touch to the game, so I thought I'd show that off. Um, another thing is if I hit campaign here, I just started a new uh, profile, and it's going to tell me, hey, maybe you should do the tutorial. Diplomacy is not an option, is not the easiest game to play in order to avoid psychological trauma and for the safety of your PC. Some people may find surprising ways to deal with anger and despair. I highly recommend you play the tutorial. Not only that, but the art style also reinforces the comedy. You can see that if you do the tutorial, it's a very straight cut path to your destination. But if you do it on your own, you can uh, end up... Well, I think the message speaks for itself pretty clearly. Now, however, I've already played the tutorial and even played the full first mission of the campaign. So I will say, I think I'll pass. So there is a campaign and there's also the endless mode. Um, I think that the random missions in They Are Billions are probably as popular, if not more popular, than the uh, actual campaign missions. Um, I always like a, like an RPG element where you can like build up your, um, your research tree or whatever in between different missions, so I really like that from They Are Billions. No sign of that in this game, but there is still that campaign feeling where you have a, 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 like a defined beginning and end. Um, I will probably play some random maps on this as well, but anyways, this game is an early access I should mention. Back to the comedy. So we're going to play, I'm just going to dive into the first campaign mission here. By the way, speed ahead about three, four, five minutes um, if you're interested in uh, just catching the gameplay because there's a little bit of a cutscene in the beginning I'm going to showcase, um, but it, it's a bit long. So anyway, um, back to the comedy and the actual like lore or story buildup. Again, lots of comedy, but yeah. Your grandfather, Sir Duncan Ironbow, was a true war hero. In the battle for the independence of Samarania, he chopped 15 Inverland knights and bit off the ear of another. For that, for that, Queen Sybil the Carefree granted him a fief and the title of nobility. The fief had been a poor place even under your grandfather, yet your father left much of it desolated, especially the wine cellar. When he broke his neck out while hunting rabbits, your reign began. Being young, you wanted to become famous, but after 16 years of peaceful life in the middle of nowhere, you left those dreams behind. After all, unlike many, you already have a glorious bloodline and a castle. We'll do the challenge accepted like the normal difficulty. And this is the cutscene I'm talking about. It is particularly long. I think that, first of all, we'll note all the money that's currently on the table because it's going to slowly disappear. It's really trying to give you the feeling of being this bored lord. And I think it's done very well. I don't think it's necessarily, well, necessary. Yeah, yes. My lord, my lady demands new curtains. And he slides the money over. Silk, my lord. More money. With golden frills. Even more money. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. So it has this way of, it doesn't mind spending extra time. This is a pretty lengthy introduction. So he's counting birds now, so he's obviously pretty bored, up to 48. <laughs> drunk as well. <laughs> uh, they, they don't mind teasing it out pretty slowly. Oh, there goes somebody falling off somewhere. He's back. My lord. What is it? Little Lord Squire fell into the moat. And a new squire is needed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. <laughs> So it's pretty comical. You can see that this guy's obviously not having a good time. I'm gonna let the full cutscene play out here because uh, I don't need to, but you can always skip forward to the actual gameplay. Um, I do enjoy this game quite a lot. I mean, I really like their billions. I like this kind of thing. Oh, this is about your daughter, my lord. He just, with his legs, slides some, some more money over. Thank you, my lord. Anyways, it's, it's a fun little game, and I think that it'll be enjoyable, especially once we get into the <laughs> counting parts, uh, yeah, and especially when we get into the gameplay. Um, it has the resource building RTS side of things, just like there are billions, where you have to make sure your income is good. 
Enter. It actually has M and Lord. Actually has finite resources, which is a, t a difference from their billions. The tax collector has just arrived. About time. Indeed, my lord. And where's my money? The tax collector didn't bring it. He barely got here in one piece. Uh -huh. Peasants revolt and refuse to pay. A crowd of rebels is marching on the castle. And there we have it. We're finally into <laughs> the mission itself. So let me turn up my audio a little bit. And here we go! So, there it is, our there billions type thing, but, uh, I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's a great thing, in fact. So let me actually put down some buildings while paused before we actually get into all of it. So yeah, there is the resource management side of things. We're gonna want to, let me get that over there, like, right away. Is there any other resources nearby? So there are some resources just like you may have seen before, excuse me real fast. Um, there are resources like littered around the map, and there's also definitely a lot of rebel peasants who are going to attack us, and we'll try to wipe out as many as possible. I think on the final wave, all of them come, maybe not, but first order of business is we're going to want to get a lumber mill up. In fact, we're probably going to want two of these. And then I want a storage place nearby so that they don't have to go very far. And I will turn off, so there's lots to explain here, but let me just lay down some of the things first, and we'll get to it. Get more into the details later. Uh, looks like there's some... No, we're actually kind of... Ah, uh, there's the food. I was going to say, we're a little short on food. We'll have the catapult go this way just to see what else is there. Let me get some food operations going on over here. And I will... I, I mean, I prefer to build a granary, but we'll wait a little bit on that. Uh, and then last but not least, I probably want to get some housing. I'm just going to increase my population. It's very, very important to do, I think. Okay, not enough wood, but we'll soon have enough wood. So we're gonna go run this over and we'll have more resources. So, um, this should be control two. These guys should be control one. I got that backwards. And then F click is in our is our essentially our attack move. And what I need is probably another builder as well, since we do have just enough wood for it. And I think it's gonna be very important to get that going. I'll probably put it right here. So we can build up things. But in the meantime, there's no time to waste. We're gonna send off our our minions looking for some of these rebelling peasants in their huts. Right here. That's a pretty comical you guys it. Oh, it's actually quite a number of them. <laughs> we'll do a little bit of kiting backwards. Should be okay here. And we can always call in a little summoning, um, which is, uh, you have a little bit of magic in this game as well. So, we can do a little, yeah, those little things are the magic. I think they'll be able to kill him okay, hopefully. Yep, got him. Down over here, so you guys keep charging forward. So these purple, or sorry, not purple, green gems are the magic. So are the magic. Kite backwards. Good, got two more there. They're coming at us with pits force. You can actually look and examine the stats. They deal two damage. It's a cold weapon? Hmm, I'm not sure what that means. Cold weapon. They mean cold steel? <laughs> but anyway, speed 1.4, they're 0.9. This is the dig you know range where they acquired targets, the range of their actual attack. So all the stats are there if you want to like sit and try to micromanage. Um, oh, this is not going to happen. Not at least with the forces we have there. So let's kind of take a look at what's going on over here and get down to... Maybe we'll prioritize this, put it up to the top priority. And we're paused, so there's that. Yeah, we, we bit off a little more more than we can chew. That's okay. We have a little deer or something frolicking about. Um, now, when you use your catapult, you will actually shoot down the forest. So it'll actually take down the trees that you could be using for resources. And I mentioned that resources are finite. Ah, my lord, for the first time in history, your castle will be stormed. And if you are, and if we are to tell anyone what it was like, I would advise you to make some steps. I think that means take some 
take some steps to defend it. Um, now, there should still be some people milling about. Yep, like right there. Let's see if we get them. We got someone else, but we missed him, and... Oh, there they go flying into the air. We can just sit here and wait. That guy. Look at that guy. I'll just keep an eye on my on the health of my dudes. So you can see the catapult is not always very helpful. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Uh, do we have enough houses? I think we need more. So the houses is what controls your population. So let me just pause, not advance time for a moment, and cover this. Here's the number of people you have. So we're at 21 out of 42. And this is the number of people who are out of that 21 are not working, which is in our case two, which means 19 have jobs. This number will increase by nine a day, which is based on your houses, how many max, what's the max number of residents and how many it'll increase by per day. Um, then you have your food and then all the other resources. So food is, the storage here is limited by right now our castle, which can only store 100 food, there it is. Um, but if we build granaries, there we go, which we don't have the stone for right now, uh, but eventually we will, and we will need to build those. We can increase essentially our total food supply, our total food storage. Then uh, wood, stone, and iron get broken down into one shared storage category, which is up here. And it's very nicely done where this is the wood, it's 125 out of 400, because our thing here is 400. Wait, oh, we have one storage already done. Okay, so this is out of 500. So this is 125 divided by 500th, isn't that just exactly a quarter? <laughs> um, this is uh, one quarter of the entire bar. And then if I had, let's say, 125 stone, exactly another quarter of the bar would be yellow. And then let's say I had like 25 iron. Then a very small part of the bar here would be iron. In fact, you'll see it. The green, oh, where are we in tech? Oh, down here, okay, good. As long as we don't lose anybody, it's fine that we keep plowing ahead here. Um, and then the green is the magic gems, the soul crystals, I guess they're called, that we are picking up. These are what allow us to cast spells, which I haven't casted yet, but they are useful to cast. Now, I probably need to keep going and building more houses, since this is going to be very useful for me to gain more population. So let's do that as soon as possible. In fact, I'll get a ton of houses. Which is also going to increase, I mean, everything is a slow buildup of resource demand, right? So that's going to increase the number of... Uh, oh, yeah food that we need to intake. Let's see if there's anybody here. If not, we may have cleared this area out. Nope, we have not. But luckily for us, we have our foot soldiers hard at work defending. <laughs> and what is it? Day four for us will be the first wave of attack. You can see the day-night cycle up there All on the top. Are under attack. Yeah, I'm trusting that we're gonna be okay. Oh God, I'm not sure we're gonna be okay. I'll probably be okay if we just back up a little bit first. Uh, but I want to get more food. So this is the total storage is right here, and the red is how much of that is going to be bled away. Um, and we, only, we still have 11 workers. What are we missing out on? I think what we need most right now is stone. Yeah, we need some stone. We need some stone desperately. Oh, and they are pursuing me. Let's get these guys back up just for another second. Pause. And the stone mine here would do us well. Maybe even one there. That's actually eight workers since they are four per. So you can see that after all that, we're down to only three. One of our first goals will be to get a, an upgrade for our town hall. We're town hall one, 150 and 100 is to get us up to town hall two. Oh, yeah. I'm going to continue pushing on these houses once we can eliminate them. That'll be great. We can also get that little truck, but... Man, there are a lot of these guys. Oh, at the same time, our archers are pretty good at doing their job. I think I will also build a barracks, which doesn't have any immediate impact. It only just causes you to spend 80 of your wood resources, which I'm going to be willing to do. Hopefully these guys are... Now it's T and R. Yeah, so let's decrease this a little bit. You, they actually have a radius where they'll go and work. I want them to chop wood close by only for the moment. Okay, so I think we're clear now. We actually made it all the way to the border. This was a pretty hotly contested little area. 
surprised that it was this difficult to get us to the border, uh, to the map. Ma this map is pretty small, by the way. Um, very small, actually. The smallest map, I think, that you can use. So let's get the wood. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Alright, so now we have a little bit of wood. And where do we want to go next? I think I want to continue pushing this way. Because I want to clear this area out, get that brick. Okay, now we have brick coming back. What would be even better, it's just lack of foresight on my part that I didn't do this right away, is get some storage right there. And this should not store anything but stone. Oh, there's also research, by the way. So what do we want to do first? We can do building and repair speed. We can do comfortable shoes, but let's first do this since I don't have the stone for the faster worker speed, but faster worker speed is going to be very helpful. So that'll be definitely a priority. Get that stone. That's probably enough for us to do the... Wait, what, day four. Okay, we still have time. It's probably enough for us to do the research that I want to do. Yeah, we're going to have more of a problem here. <laughs> I really ought to get a, a, at least one defensive tower. And this is just going to be a watchtower. Now, these watchtowers are... Uh, they give you very good vision, and but only one person can sit in them. I'll be a little bit aggressive. Let's see if I can get one all the way over here. Hopefully we can get them one there without losing them people. I'll get one archer in preparation. Oh my. This might be a good time for me to just throw down one of those. Get this guy, this group of people back. So these are dark knights. Oh god. Are under a few of them are. They're going to hold their own pretty well. We'll try to help them out, but we obviously don't want to lose any of my own people. And they can just charge right on in there. Just go do their thing. Hey, day's up. That means we got 15 new people. You can see one more day and we'll be at full population. But before that happens, what I'd like to do is build more houses. So right now this, the wood supply is, uh, is quite low. And then with 17 workers, I, it's pretty clear to me what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get more um, woodcutters. And I would like to get more storage, but we can't do that quite yet. Okay, we're cutting down. I prefer these guys not cut down stuff like that. All troops are under attack. Oh my gosh, that was those were normal troops. One of my normal guys almost died. And if I die, that means they're gonna have to show you how to you have to get <laughs> your very annoying graveyard and all that. <laughs> okay, so we have three minutes left here. We're still doing okay. Alright, got this tower up, put that one dude in. So you can see there's a lot of a lot of people over here waiting for us. Just trying to do our best to clear out. At this point. As many archers as we can afford to get would be good. Um, yeah, we do want that storage up as well. Let me get that now. I'll put it right here. I don't know if that's too aggressive. Oh, almost lost this guy again. But we didn't, right? That's the important. Oh god. Let's kill these guys. I'd like to get to that wood. Still have a minute, two minutes. Um, I think I'm gonna put a very aggressive outward tower. I might even just be able to do this with a summon. So maybe I could just put this over here. Maybe I can get away with not not having a tower at all. I think we can get away without having a tower at all, frankly. Oh, this is a dark knight. Get in there. Didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, like you're completely expendable. Okay, run and get this real fast, then pull back. Oh, he, there's his time is done. Must return to the. Okay, you guys can go in here, pull back up, and do the attack. My lord, it appears that our eagle-eyed scouts lack arithmetic basics. One said, "The attackers are plenty." The second said, "Very many." The third lost count, and the fourth can't count at all. Hmm. Most, most troubling. Alright, we do have a lot of wood right here. I wonder if I could just get one wooden tower. <laughs> that should be what I need. 
these guys to click that. Get some more archers. Okay, so control one needs to increase up to six. You guys can go here. So when day when daylight comes, oh, we're almost out of food too. So that's a problem, isn't it? Let me get some fish people. Usually known as fishermen, but you know, fish people. It's very similar. I won't worry too much if we have an overwhelming amount. We'll just have to call in another summon. There's something here, I can't tell what. Still have 33 seconds. And hey, the tower's built. Okay, perfect. We, we should be able to hold just fine then. We are taking a little bit of damage on this side. Still 16 seconds until the official wave comes as well. Okay, let's go back up into the tower, get our defenses set here, and uh, we should hold. I think that'll be fine. It should be a very small attack. Oh, I even have a catapult, which I'm not even using yet. Oh, wow, this Enemy tower is showing us. We have uh, potentially a lot to deal with here. But at least we got more people, so we definitely need more everything. Okay, with our resources, let's upgrade that. Let's go to our research. I haven't I've kind of been neglecting it. Yeah, we need the comfortable shoes one. That's going to be, in my opinion, the most important. Okay, so you're only holding that. You should not hold any stone. Okay, fine. I'll let you hold stone. It's fine. I'd rather you hold wood, but I can be convinced. Just waiting for that wave to come. In the meantime, maybe get some more archers. 18 more people. So what's the weakest part of our economy right now? Well, I mean, both the stone and the trees. Could, yeah, look at this guy's. We're, we already cut way out over here. So let's first increase this a little bit. Okay, now we're being attacked. Oh god, don't lose anybody. The whole point of having that tower is that it's a good defense. Okay, we'll set auto repair on. And the first wave is down. So good. We, uh, we survived. Let's get these archers to start doing their thing. And now that we have so many of them. Ten in told in total. We should have an easier time sending them out on their own. Here's a little bit of food that's very necessary. Turns out, keep one close by, but I'm not sure we need to have them chasing along anymore. That Those magic gems are going to be very helpful. There's some more stuff over here, apparently. Yeah, keep it coming. Up to 12 would be even better. Here, I'll get the group 1 to go down here just to clear out that fog of war. We'll get these guys to keep marching that way. Get that wooden supply. Add that to our total. Anyway, I hope you're getting an idea for how this game plays out. You know, we're just going to keep expanding our resources. Did we already upgrade this? Oh, it's Town Hall level 2 already. Okay, then we need more better houses. And honestly, we need more stone as well. So let me get more stone cutters here. Get a stone mine level 2. That looks like a big one. Yeah, large stone deposit. Very good. So 2 is progressing nicely. Still have 12. That means we didn't lose anybody. That's good. Keep them going that way. One. I don't know if they'll be... I get... You know, there probably will be some more people over here, so let me just go that way and claim that. Get some more archers. Um, these houses hopefully will be upgraded just in time for nightfall to be done. Maybe not. The night cycle to, it goes pretty quickly. <laughs> okay, keep going. Yeah. Oh, this is more than we can handle. That's fine. Well, t uh, we can pull them just a little bit at a time and probably get through it, but okay. This group needs to keep going. Let's have them very aggressively just charge this way. <laughs> Need to clear that. And we can upgrade this, actually. Let me cancel. Uh, 
one of the people. And once this guy's done, looks like we need a little bit more stone, and then after that... Oh, good. Alright, I still want that, actually. Take it now. Just get me the wood. And we are desperately low on food. So, how do we deal with that? Well, I guess we get more fishermen. Since they're available. <laughs> and let's get a granary as, a granary as well. Yeah. Probably just get it right here. Okay, yeah, then when we talked about getting, well, I can't get somebody to cut the wood over here just because we're actually getting close to the enemy. Okay, I need you guys to actually... Just getting these guys to get all the resources. There's the food. <laughs> Come on, just a little further. There it is. Trying to get them to work together. <laughs> Alright, that should be should be good. We have this group. Okay, I might as well keep them together. It's just gonna work better. We'll have to clear that group at the top eventually. But not not yet. So we got a granary. Maybe we can start upgrading our workers building. And increase the radius that he's effective. Oh, it looks like he's effective basically the whole map around. So far, no attacks on our little watchtower here, which is nice. And I could build another watchtower on the other side, just for defensive measure, really. Just to see when things are coming. So, let's do that. Here. Build it right there. Okay, good. You guys are here. I'll get this guy... Go collect those beads. And again, there's a, those are quite powerful. Day 7 is our next attack, by the way. Now, I have the ability to get a fountain, which is why I left this middle spot open. You can see here, a city fountain plus two people live in each house within the radius. Great. So we want that. And then after that's built, I want other level 2 houses right next to it. But oh, since yeah. I'm not sure what else is there, <laughs> we're going to have to <laughs> wait until... Our archers clear all this stuff. Looks it looks like it's vacated. Okay, two has to increase by another three people. Good. We have our footmen still helping out. Doing a good job. Nearly avoided <laughs> that gem. But I actually want it. Looks like we have enough food now. The fishermen have finally kicked in. We get it. I thought there was something in there, but I'm just gonna hope we got it. Okay, good. There's another gem. Oh, another cart down here. So, once we're done with that, I gotta cut back again. Let's upgrade this barracks now. Start upgrading all these things. So, this is a good one to upgrade. That's a good one to upgrade. Why not all of them, right? Uh, this one looks like a great one to upgrade. And as soon as these guys finish clearing out this area, I can start taking down the wood there. Anyway, this might even be a good place. Let me um, just finish the second wave and then call this first video to a close. I don't know if I will continue this series. I basically wanted to like use this as a PSA. Hey, look, this game's out there, and I think it's really good. So oh, yeah. if you have never heard of their, or <laughs> if you've never heard of their billions, this is also, I guess, somewhat an advertisement for that, just because I think both games are really good. Um, let me get some more archers, though. Oh, research. Got to do more research. Yeah, we need iron at this point to get the next footwear, which is an improvement to all our movement speed of the workers. We have this. We have the stone, though. I mean, honestly, I think we'll take the stained wood, which is going to increase the durability of all our wooden structures. Well, our defensive structures. Or I could do... Yeah, I mean, the archer one is going to be... Okay, it's probably going to be a little bit more important to get 
first. Yeah, let's get these guys over here as well, since... Our fortifications are under attack. Oh, we pause. Ah, okay, well, you guys have a job after all. In fact, what I can do is get... I don't even know where my catapult is, but I think he'll be able to get over there and help in time. In the meantime, I'll still have my archers, big collection of them, just start picking off all these other guys. And it looks like the wave is going to come from this end, where I built my one tower. Um, I'm going to want some, well, crossbowmen eventually, yes, but for now, we'll have to make do with not crossbowmen. I love the catapult. Look how they fly up in the air. <laughs> I love it. And that left only one guy for my for my footmen to deal with. Let's get the catapult to move down here. Um, together, they can probably assault that. Um, in the meantime, I desperately need to prepare some defenses. So they'll be coming from this area. Yeah, let me have this build some archers, get some archers over here. I will actually take one of these guys and put them in the tower. Otherwise, I can probably get away with some kind of weird defense. Look, there's no natural barriers here, so we have to build something. Hey, I mean, it's kind of fun to build, like, your own defensive structures, right? I mean, do it in any way you, you would like. I think what we'll do is they'll be coming from just to the right side of that and then they're going to try to move towards my keep. So it looks like this forest is our natural defense point. Let me do something like this then. Boom, one, two. I like to do twos. One, two. One, two. And then maybe one, two, but skewed. Which means I'll probably end up ruining every single one of these trees, but it's fine. Okay, so a little corner defense. How are we doing on people? We have lots of workers available. So that's good news. Um, I want to build another house. Not a house two. Let's just get... I mean, not a house one. Let's get a house two. We can box that fountain in now. We don't need to... Don't need to access it anymore. Okay. We can upgrade to level three. Well, probably won't be doing that. Just want to get my builders over here. They are over there. Okay, good. So, research complete. wherever you guys are, whatever you're doing, stop and come this way. <laughs> you have a minute. Uh, research was complete. We need to start getting the iron in. Okay, I can do that stained wood. This is going to be perfect timing for this wave. Or, I guess not quite. One minute, <laughs> one minute, two minutes and 30. So, it'll be a minute and 30 minute seconds slow. Although that... Might actually work out. So I'd like to keep those towers defended. We now have 18 archers, which is great. Very good number. Food doesn't look like it's a problem at all. We have plenty. Might as well upgrade this granary. We can't because <laughs> turns out that's already an upgraded version of it. Okay, so these guys need to move closer. We need to just build this. Now that we've started to clear this area, we need to move the lumber, lumber mills forward. So, how about one here? Um, one here, and then a supply, storage, whatever it's called, right behind them. Okay. This tower won't defend against that much, or at least I don't think it will. Oh, yeah. oh we can also get the catapult to help with this defense. Not sure it's going to get there in time. Anyways, we'll start getting people into the walls. I think that that's going to be an important one. We have a nice... Uh, the arcs of fire are good here. Sure. Let's get the rest. So these towers can each hold nine, but believe it or not, okay. beyond that, you can have archers on the walls. Just to showcase that, let me get a few more archers. And in the meantime, since we have plenty of workers, I am just so behind in my workers. Need to get iron mines. Where's the nearest iron? Wow, we have no iron? This is the first playthrough I have ever been in where there is no iron. Okay, we have no iron. <laughs> so we will not be doing anything with iron. <laughs> There's um veins in the sides of the mountains that look like this, but they're like kind of look like 
they're boarded off like old caves or they're they're like kind of a different stone color not the white enemy forces are approaching anyway let's see what we're up against here looks like my catapult actually did make it over so we'll get him into there hey. and yeah I'll just call the video to a close there it's nice it gives you a good idea of what we're what this game is all about nice big wave coming our way Got one archer, we'll put him up on the wall. We're just gonna decimate this forest with my catapult, but also at the same time, the people! I <laughs> love it. Oh, good hit. So I'm gonna start getting rid of these guys since we're over here. The overflow we'll be able to take care of. But you can see these waves are getting bigger. It's definitely more threatening. But still not a problem. Okay, well, we got to keep moving forward, but I'm going to bring this episode to a close here. So it looks like the map is almost completely cleared, except for uh, we have that. Well, if I orient to the north, to the southeast, we have some problems to deal with. And then um, in the northeast, this is also complete. problem area. But we have plenty of time to do that. We have, uh, you know, the next wave comes on wave on day ten, and probably the next one after that on like day thirteen. And we're we're pretty settled. We have a good number of archers. I don't feel like we're in too bad of a spot. But that'll have to wait until I don't know if we'll do another episode. This is a nice first look. I hope you get an idea of what the game is like. I think it's worth checking out. Or at least, hopefully by now, you know whether or not you're interested in checking it out. Um, thanks to the Code47 people for letting me have a review code. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you're interested in games like this, you can also check out They Are Billions. But um, I like this. I, I think that They Are Billions it has a more interesting environment. Like they, It's more interesting from like a book reading standpoint or creativity standpoint. This is your plain Jane medieval battles. But I, I still like this environment better, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, that'll do it. So until the next episode of this, or until the next video that I do, and that you happen to catch, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.